Hello and thank you for watching this video. This is the fourth session of our Microtech hardware series. And here we have provided you with a review of two other powerful and very useful Microtech Ethernet routers, namely the RB1100AHX4 and the RB1100AHX4 Dude Edition, priced at $299 and $349 US dollars. The two RB1100 routers are very similar to each other. Just like the RB2011, 3011, and 4011 routers, the numbers in the product codes of the two RB1100 routers are arbitrary and do not follow Microtech's naming rules. The capital A in their product codes refers to a greater memory, and the capital H shows a more powerful CPU. The characters X4 stand for the four CPU cores of these two devices, and as for the DUDE edition, it goes without saying that this hardware supports the DUDE network and traffic monitoring utility. In order to learn how to work with the DUDE utility, we will provide you with a detailed tutorial that specifically deals with this software. On the outside, the two RB1100 routers are almost identical. They have a total of 13 gigabit Ethernet ports with ports 1 to 10 divided into two port groups, ports 11 and 12 used as bypass ports, and port 13 designated as the PoE in as well as the boot port. It should be noted that almost all Microtech devices have their first Ethernet port as their boot port. However, as you can see, the RB1100 routers use port number 13 for booting. And also, you have an RS232 serial console port on both devices. On the back, you have two power jacks which are extremely useful for maintaining a device's uptime. Moreover, you have a 12 to 57 volt DC input as well as a micro SD memory card slot. The main difference of the two devices, however, can be found on their router boards on the inside. This is the router board of the RB1100 Dude Edition. The router boards of both 1100 routers looks like this, except for the existence of these two SATA 3 ports, as well as these two mini PCI Express slots, which only exist on the RB1100 Dude Edition router. Also, the Dude Edition comes with one 60GB M2 SSD included in the box. The reason for the existence of these memory slots is that the Dude Edition is used for network monitoring purposes, and it needs this amount of memory or more to perform its monitoring activities without filling and crowding the local memory and storage capacity of the router. As for device specifications, these two routers are fairly the same with only some slight differences. So let's use the comparison tool on the hardware menu to find out more. As can be seen in this table, their quad-core processors are identical. The Dude Edition comes with an extended storage of 60 gigabytes, and it includes two M2 slots in case you need to upgrade the storage capacity. Also, you can see that the maximum power consumption of the Dude Edition is higher, which is of course attributed to its monitoring capabilities. Moving down the comparison table, we have the mode button which does not exist on the Dude Edition. And as you can see, the 20 to 57 volt PoE in on both devices is both passive and active. Also, except for the two SATA 3 ports that only exist in the Dude Edition, we can see that the rest of our router's features are the same, including their serial console, RAM size, local storage, and tested ambient temperature. By referring to the block diagram of each device in the support and downloads table, we can see that all four cores of the RB1100 router's CPU support all ports and features of the device, and traffic distribution is quite even. Port groups 1 and 2 each use a separate gigabit switch, and ports 11 and 12, which are the bypass group, together with port 13 as the device's PoE in, connect to the CPU via the third gigabit switch. 
you also have two power supplies that provide you with failover capabilities in order to maximize the router's uptime, as well as a DC telecom power input that supports a voltage of minus 48 volts, which is highly valuable for telecom networks and projects. As for the block diagram of the Dude Edition, the only difference is the addition of the two M2 storage slots, as well as the two SATA 3 connectors. With regard to test results, given the similarity of the specifications of their router boards, the performance of both devices is equal, and as in all Microtech routers, the performance depends upon the transmitted packet sizes, device modes, and device configurations. It is also worth mentioning that both these devices have hardware acceleration features that enable traffic encryption and the IPsec throughput again depends on the packet sizes, tunnel modes, and encryption settings. As always, it is highly important to ask ourselves some basic questions when planning a network and purchasing relevant hardware, starting with our intended usage of the network, followed by the number of active users on the network, packet numbers and sizes, available ISP bandwidth, and the type of traffic. The industries that can benefit from the RB1100 routers include universities and campuses where numbers of users can be high, managed IT service providers, ISPs and WISPs, and VoIP service providers can put these two routers to their advantage in various situations such as hosting and firewall configurations. Moreover, manufacturers and system integrators can also find good use out of these two routers given their traffic encryption features and the monitoring capabilities of the RB1100 Dude Edition. Three of the main user groups of the RB1100 routers are hotels, medical centers, and security and surveillance systems, since in all three of these industries, maintaining and maximizing router uptime is highly important. In the RB1100 routers, this maximum uptime can be achieved thanks to the power failover feature provided by the router's two power inputs. Given their hardware acceleration features, the RB1100 routers can encrypt traffic and are therefore quite suitable for VPN projects such as centralized VPN, site-to-site -site VPN, as well as hotspot internet. Both devices can also be used as wireless controllers in case you have a large number of users on your network. The Dude Edition can be used for establishing a RADIUS server and AAA management that stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. And it can also help with cache and content filtering as it comes with extra storage space. And both RB1100 routers can be used as core devices given their powerful processors for firewall settings and other security measures. Moreover, the Dude Edition can obviously be used for network monitoring purposes as it supports the Dude Network Monitoring Utility. And finally, given their quad-core CPUs, both RB1100 routers are suitable devices for dynamic routing protocols such as BGP and OSPF. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for other and future similar videos and let us know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to joining you in future tutorials. Take care and goodbye.